There are many that contribute to making the leading Bahamian gospel entertainment house a success. But truth be told, William Mark Cartwright is Fam Records and Entertainment. He defied the odds that major gospel events could not be done without the influence of politics and major backers. Fam Fest began in 1996 as a paid event, but an encounter with one patron who couldn't pay sparked him to listen to a voice that said, from here on in, make it free and the rest was history. But that's the heart of Mark Cartwright, or Mr. C, as he is affectionately called, and the foundation by which he has operated since then. His vision is to bring to pass the vision of others. It's this key driver that keeps him giving and giving and giving without ever seeking in return for any kind of compensation, reward, or acknowledgement. Mark Cartwright is a believer of Bahamianization, from the time he began Fam Records, everything was produced by Bahamians. From the graphic work to the production and performers, he is a firm believer that Bahamian gospel music can stand the test of time world over. He's always ready to help and has always supported any artist that sought him out. He's a family man who knows what it is to care and nurture for those God has blessed him with. He has always provided for them and extended his hands to those outside of the immediate family, allowing them to experience his benevolence. Not one day has he not been there for his wife, children, grandchildren, and extended family, but his personal triumph would not come without a test. On Tuesday, October 5th, 2010, he lost his production team in the country's worst aviation tragedy to date. Among them, his best friend, this changed the entire scope of things, as Mark never thought he would have to replace the engineer extraordinaire, Nat Williams. But he knew it was time to begin training the next generation of youth, and that he did. This tragedy ignited a new passion. The challenges didn't stop there. Mark battled with his health, fighting cancer, given six months to a year to live. He has since defied those odds. The issue of death never entered his mind, and he has not worried about it. He's gone on record saying he's not afraid of death. He's only concerned about doing all that he can to maximize life. Even as he was on his road of recovery, ministry was still at the forefront of his mind. He continues to push. His contributions to the development of gospel music in the Bahamas are immeasurable. His heart has no limits. He has truly been sent by God to impact the lives of so many, whether in church, workplace, the marketplace, or in gospel music. Many have been impacted. He meditates on the Word of God as his sustaining power every day. Prayer guides him, and his passion to see others achieve their goals renews him. When the story of the music industry in the Bahamas is written, William Mark Cartwright will be featured prominently. FamFest will remain a staple and it will serve as a testimony of a man whose heart was big enough to take an event and make it an experience, costing those that benefit nothing but their time. Tonight, the gospel music community salutes a giant of a man, William Mark Cartwright.